What's going on, people? Good afternoon, and welcome to the Imps View podcast show with me, Cornell B, forward sass DJ Cornell B, back again. And today I'm doing a match preview of Lincoln City versus Portsmouth. Before I get in the video, I want to say this, and I can't believe I'm saying it. I've got to say thank you so much to the 503 subscribers who are subscribed to my YouTube channel. I'd love to get it up to 504. It will be very, very appreciated. Keep on leaving your opinions, leaving your thoughts, leaving a subscribe on my YouTube channel. And also, thank you so much to everybody that has subscribed, watching my content and checking out my content. I'm putting as many as content as I can to get up as more in baby steps as well. So it'd be very, very appreciated if you could leave a like, you could leave your comments, your opinions, your reactions, and your thoughts about the final day of the League One season and the final game of the season tomorrow where we face Portsmouth at home at the LNER Stadium for a place in the playoff semi-final to play either Bolton or to play um, Peterborough um, in the semi-final in both legs. So I'd love to hear what you guys think. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Back again! Um, so, so tomorrow, us Lincoln City will face Portsmouth tomorrow. Honestly, a win tomorrow, which us Lincoln City will get the win tomorrow. And we will achieve the impossible dream of finishing in the top six, top five. Um, obviously, failure for that. If we don't achieve that, then we'll be have to be relying on teams um, elsewhere to do us a favor. And I'm going to be honest, we need we don't need we don't need to rely on other teams to do us a favor tomorrow. Um, but honestly, um, if you haven't heard Michael Scabala's um, press conference yesterday, Honestly, check it out on, on Lincoln City Football Club um, YouTube channel and Lass Sorensen as well, talking about tomorrow's game as well. Um, obviously, for me, um, there are a few things that have been happening. Obviously, Rico Hackett is not going to be playing tomorrow. Um, obviously, he's, he's not fit to, to, to go, honestly, to play tomorrow. Um, I would not have risked him, obviously, because, honestly, it's very difficult to come back from a dislocated shoulder and you have to go through all different assessments for that to to make sure that it, that you are OK and OK to go through. And, and as Scobala put it, obviously, it could be the end of his season, but we'll have to wait and see. And then, obviously, he spoke about that we may see an injured, a long term injury player come back from injury. And that is Tyler Walker, despite that Scobala didn't say who it was and who it is. I mean, obviously, we've seen Lewis Monsimer go um, in training. And then, obviously, Tyler Walker has been in training for weeks as well. And there was a picture of him outside the um, Lincoln um, HMS prison, um, obviously. And, obviously, there was speculation and rumours that Tyler Walker could be on the bench tomorrow to boost to boost our options going forward and boost our attacking options, especially up front with the likes of Draper, with the likes of House, with the likes of Makama. And you know what? When I saw that and I saw that and I heard that from Michael Scopala, I said, brilliant, 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 because this boosts us even more. And I know there was talk about, obviously, Monson were coming back before the, before the season's finishes, but... For me personally, I don't see I don't see him coming back really basically to be to be precise. But you know, football is obviously a funny old game. We can all say that he might not come back, but sometimes you may look at the bench, you look at the option, and you think, well, oh, I think I think Monsumer will make the bench. So I'll be very interested to see how we line up tomorrow. I will be very interested to see. Dylan Duffy is back, obviously, from his suspension. So honestly, I'm looking forward to seeing um, you know, Dylan Duffy play on in the left side of the midfield um and, and dominate like he always does. If I think the team that Scobala should put out, obviously, um, I think he should go with Lucas Jensen, obviously, um, Rowan, Mitchell, O'Connor at the back. Honestly, unless Jackson plays in that um, plays at the back as well, but I think got leaving it with Mitchell, Rowan, and O'Connor at the back, I think really makes perfect sense. Um, obviously, um, in midfield, I see it being a five in midfield, so I see it being um, Sorensen, I see it being Ethan Aron, I see it being Mandroyu as well. Um, I definitely see 
obviously Moylan playing as well. I'd like to see Moylan, obviously Moylan play. Um, I definitely see um, Dylan Duffy play as well too. So um, definitely I, I see, I, I mean, fingers crossed, Teddy Bishop is going to get fit, will be fit to play tomorrow. They're still assessing him to see if he'll be able to take part tomorrow, which I, I'm being positive that he will take part tomorrow. Well, I'll, I'll be very interested to see. So I think if Bishop plays, Brilliant! I, I I'm looking for. I would. I, we have missed Bishop, and we've missed his creativity. Yes, he's been unlucky with injuries, but honestly, when Bishop is on the ball, he's a different player. He's a different creative player when he's going forward. And honestly, I definitely say I think Bishop will start tomorrow with 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 without further ado. Honestly, Dylan Duffy will start. So I think Dylan Duffy. Obviously, I thought when he played against Oxford before his red card. I thought he was really, really good, um, you know, going forward, putting crosses in, getting getting into spaces and really doing what he does best. So I think Dilla Duffy definitely will start. I, I definitely would say Bishop will start despite that he's touch and go. But honestly, if he does start, I wouldn't be surprised if Moylan drops to the bench, obviously, and probably plays Mandroy and Bish playing in that midfield, play House in midfield as well, and definitely Sorensen in midfield, and then play um, Dylan Duffy on the left side of midfield, and then Sorensen on the right in the midfield, just so he can bomb forward and get cro and whip crosses into the box and, and get into wicked spaces. Honestly, I think up front, obviously, Taylor's going to start up front. Um, Draper, obviously... Definitely will carry will carry on his role. Definitely up front to 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 really start being more improved and more developed. How he is already in front of goal and keeping on creating opportunities and opening up opening himself well and 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 doing what he does best with the physical aggressive um, football that he's been producing um, this season. Despite that, he's been unlucky with chances as well. So I think that's the team that I believe that us that Michael Scabala will put out tomorrow against Portsmouth. Honestly, here's, here's my view of this. Honestly, us, Lincoln City, have not been determined as ever to be in the, in the playoffs this season. Us, Lincoln City, have been in League One for five seasons. And we need to put that to an end. I mean, obviously, some fans will come out and say, whatever happens, uh, we're still proud of the team. Of course, we can think that way. We can think that way. But honestly, the goal and the aim is to be playing championship football. We have been in League One for five seasons and this is a message to Lincoln City Football Club and this is a message to the Lincoln City players with passion, desire, optimism and positivity being installed to the players for tomorrow's game. Tomorrow is a big, big, massive game tomorrow. Us, Lincoln City, have to go all out tomorrow. Playing the best football, being aggressive, being physical, being ruthless going forward, being ruthless in midfield, being ruthless at the back and putting everything, everything on the line tomorrow because this is a now or nothing game. We don't need to rely on the other teams. We don't need to rely on them. If Oxford lose their game against Exeter, which probably looks likely because Exeter's not going to give up, they're going to go on and, and find ways to beat and beat Oxford. Honestly, Blackpool is sixth, is obviously seventh, is obviously eighth in the table. And they're, and they're only just a point behind. So honestly, they'll win their game and we'll win ours. But obviously, the pressure is still in our hands. We have to go out there tomorrow. And we ha you have to believe in yourselves. And I want you guys, and this is a clear, clear message to Lincoln City Football Club and the players for tomorrow. I want you to go out there with a winning mentality. I want you to play with a winning mentality. I want you to play as a team. I want you to work as a team. I want you to believe in yourselves as players. I want you to show the Imps fans that you are, that you care. And you play and you're playing for Lincoln City. And not only just that, you'll play work hard, yes, tomorrow. I want you guys to work hard tomorrow. I want you guys to work hard for the win. Work hard for the top six, top five finish tomorrow. Because us, Lincoln City, we need to be playing championship football. We need to be in the playoffs. The playoffs is the only way that us, Lincoln City, is going to get into it. And I want them to, I want the players to believe in themselves. Believe in themselves that they can win. Believe in themselves that they will go on the pitch and really put on a fantastic performance. An outstanding performance tomorrow. 
I want you to really bring your game tomorrow. I want you to put everything at the back. Mitchell, Rowan, Rowan, everyone, every last one of you. O'Connor, put everything on the line tomorrow. Put all your best tackles, your best tackles on the line. Lucas Jensen, honestly, Lucas Jensen, you have been fantastic this season. Absolutely fantastic this season with 19 clean sheets this season. And I want you to work hard, work hard, work hard on getting that 20th clean sheet and winning the Golden Glove win. Work hard for that Golden Glove award. Don't stop believing until the game is over. And I want you guys to give everything that you guys have. I want you to give it everything, 100% everything from start to finish. When they come at you, you get at them. You put them on the back foot. You school them. You school them with the positive energy attacking football. From the start, from the finish. Make them work harder than they have never been worked before. And if I don't care if it's Marlon Pack, I don't care if it's Joe Morrell, I don't care if it's Colby Bishop. If Colby Bishop goes on, on attack, stop him. Put him out of his misery. Put yourself on the line. Put everything on the line. Lucas Jensen, you work hard tomorrow. You work hard tomorrow for that clean sheet and for that Golden Glove Award. You work hard and you show why. You show everybody. And I mean everybody, even though you have been. You show why you want to win the Golden Glove Award tomorrow. And I want the whole play Lincoln City players to show why we want to be in the top six. Why we want to finish top six, top five tomorrow. Because we got nothing to lose. Nothing to lose tomorrow. You guys have got nothing to lose tomorrow. You guys have got everything to play for tomorrow. And getting taking all three points from Portsmouth is straightforward. It's going to be tough. We all know that. And, and it's been drummed in the players' heads for them to really achieve greatness tomorrow. Miracles can come true. Perform that a miracle tomorrow. And honestly, Taylor, you keep using your pace. You keep using your power. You keep making runs in the box. You keep getting into spaces. Doesn't matter if Sorensen puts a cross in. Sorensen, you keep being the best right wing back. You keep putting crust into the box. You keep getting forward. You keep being positive. Same thing with you, Rowan. Rowan, you do the same thing. You keep getting forward. You keep putting them outstanding performances. Ethan Aron, carry on being the best midfielder that you have been this season by putting in absolutely everything, every effort into your hard work. And, and, and not only just that, we're leaving in yourself. Believe in yourselves. And that's what I want the players to do. I want the players to give everything that they have. Freddie Draper, honestly, two goals this season. You carry on finding ways. You keep creating opportunities. You keep doing what you do best on that pitch tomorrow. Every single one of these players, I want them to do their absolute, give their absolute best and really get them Imps fans off their feet tomorrow. All the ones that are going, despite the game has been sold out. I want you to put on a show for them and really show them, especially the ones that's not optimistic. I want you to prove them wrong. I want you to, to prove the pundits wrong, what they've been saying all about us, that we won't be able to achieve the impossible dream of getting into the playoffs. I want you to prove them wrong. I want you to prove the ones that are not optimistic wrong tomorrow. I want you to right wrongs tomorrow. I want you to go into tomorrow with a winning mentality, a positive attacking mentality, believing mentality, everything. I want you to give everything to your game. And, I, and, and when they are on attack, when they go forward, when they keep going forward on the counter-attack, stop them. Stop them at all costs. Keep Marlon Peck quiet. Keep Colby Bishop quiet. And honestly, stop, honestly, Lucas Jensen, stop Wild Smith and Will Norris from getting that golden glove tomorrow. And you work hard the same way you worked hard against Oxford United. I want you to do the same thing, the same thing tomorrow. Work hard for that top six finish. Work hard for that win tomorrow. With a positive mentality tomorrow. Optimism mentality. Belief. Everything in your game. 
and never stop believing tomorrow. Never stop believing in miracles tomorrow but, and putting everything on the line. Even if they're coming at you, you take them, you school them, you school them in their attack, you school them in their midfield, you school them in their defence. And most importantly, you never give up. When those fans, especially when the Ims fans are making noise, when they're making noise, take it on. Take everything on while you still can tomorrow and give everything that you have, everything. Because this is the biggest opportunity for us, Lincoln City Football Club. And this is a pure, passionate message to Lincoln City Football Club and the Lincoln City Football Club players, first team players. You work hard in training today, from, yes, from yesterday and tomorrow. You work hard. And you believe, and you go into that game. You walk into the LNER Stadium, determined. You walk out as winners. And when you do that, when you do that, we are going to, to achieve something special. You show everyone why we're going to achieve something special when we reach the playoffs. When we reach the playoffs. Because we will be in that top six. I don't care if it's Bolton. I don't care if it's Portsmouth. Whoever it is we face, despite Portsmouth are champs, I couldn't care less. And as far as, I, as far as I'm concerned, us, Lincoln City, will stop at nothing until we are victorious tomorrow. And I want that to be installed in the, in the players' heads. And I want to see that fighting-spirited Lincoln City really take the game to Portsmouth tomorrow. Please, Lincoln City. Don't give up. Please, Lincoln City, get this win tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching the Imps View podcast show with me, Cornell B. Love to get it up to 504. Honestly, tomorrow, us, Lincoln City, are getting into that playoffs tomorrow. Up the Imps.